So you're trying out oil painting and you have a few questions. Should you tone your canvas? Should you leave it white? Should you draw a sketch on the canvas before you paint it? Should you just go right in and just start the painting right off immediately? We'll answer those questions and many more in this video. Hey everybody, I'm Ken Brandt and I'm an artist. So in this video I reduced it to a time lapse of a landscape that I did of a grist mill and I'll have the reference photo in the corner uh, it'll be popping in there so you can watch exactly uh, how the painting is progressing to my reference photo and along uh, with the video I'll be narrating and explaining the five essential steps that I take when I'm doing an oil painting and should these steps be incorporated into your repertoire painting? Is it something that, uh, that uh, is important to you or not? And that we'll, I'll cover those in this video. So why don't you sit back and relax and uh, watch the painting evolve. It's a beautiful painting. I really am happy the way it came out. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that way you're notified anytime that I post a new video. So enjoy. So these are the steps that I take when I'm doing a painting. Now they can be steps that you can incorporate yourself or you can change these steps accordingly to how it works best for you. But for me, step number one is to have a plan. Always have an idea either in your head or a photograph or a sketch something um, so you know exactly what it is that you're going to do on your canvas so in my plan here I knew I did not want any white of the canvas to show through on my landscape painting so I toned my canvas first do I do that all the time no and in past videos you can see that that's not necessarily the case but in this situation, I felt that my plan best needed me to tone that canvas um, and I used uh, Asphaltum uh, as my color for the uh, toning of the canvas. And this way, if there's any spots that uh, were left over or left open, um, you would not really notice them that much with the Asphaltum uh, on the canvas already. So step two, it's going to be your drawing. Now here, you can see I did not draw my picture on the canvas first. I'm actually using the paintbrush itself as my drawing utensil. Now, is that how I do it all the time? No, a lot of times you'll see I already have a sketch on the canvas. This particular uh, instance, I felt that I could accomplish um, everything I wanted to do with the paintbrush prior to the painting. And I knew that I was going for a looser feel and I felt this gave me more of an opportunity to really establish uh, a, a loose painting uh, by attacking it with the painting or the paintbrush to use as um, my drawing pencil. So that's not necessarily what I always do. And in this case it worked out well until I get to about the middle of the painting you'll see that I realize my composition is a little low so I actually go back with a white charcoal pencil and I kind of redraw where I want the grist mill uh, in the horizon of the landscape I actually move it up and I change everything the bridge the grist mill and here you can see that right now you can see that I and I'm uh, using a white charcoal pencil to kind of put in where I need to move everything and it was not difficult to do that's the beauty of using oil paints is you can make whatever changes you need to make and that's what I did here so I moved everything up uh, step three you want to cover the canvas completely so you can see I have the whole canvas completely covered with all my colors and this what this does is this establishes uh, my values so I already know where my darkest darks are going to be and my lightest lights are going to be. And that takes me right into step four, which is where I like to establish where my darks are going to be first. So you can see I have a lot of darks already placed in on my uh, canvas here. 
even though the painting itself is not a uh, completed finished painting, I do know where I'm putting all my darks. I do know that the uh, window areas are the darkest. Uh, there's the reflections in the pond that are very dark. There's areas behind the, uh, the water wheel itself that are very dark. So I already have these in place. And this helps me establish my lights when I go to put those in. And as you'll see, when I go to put my lights in, some of them aren't as bright as I want them to be. And when that's the case, all you need to do is just go back in and make your darks darker. So there is an area that I wanted to have highlighted on the edge of the grist mill, on the, um, uh, the, the very first part of the grist mill there before the water wheel. I wanted the sunlight to come down and actually hit the wooden planks by those windows. And the only way that that was really going to pop was if I made the right hand side of that building a lot darker and same with the left hand side on the other side of the window I had to make that a little bit darker so that way that lighter area actually um, came forward and it really looked like the sunlight was hitting on that particular area of the crystal itself. And then that takes me into step five which is to establish your highlights which I like, I you always like to leave those for the, for the end. Um, and you want to establish your highlights and then put in your final details. And that's um, uh, what you're seeing me do here. I'm starting to put in some highlights on the trees. Um, there's some branches that I wanted to make sure were uh, showing uh, through the uh, leaves. And before I added the highlights of the leaves, I wanted to make sure I had all my uh, my tree trunks and my branches in place because I like to cover those up with uh, a lot of highlights and it makes it look more natural I think so again uh, step one have your plan step two make sure your drawing is correct step three cover the canvas and that establishes your values and step four establish your darks and step five Put in your highlights and your details. That is how I like to approach an oil painting. Do I do this every single time? No, I do not do this every single time. In fact, sometimes I forget one of those steps and then as a result, I get a little frustrated at myself because um, perhaps like maybe I didn't get the drawing correct. And a lot of times, once you already have your uh, painting started and the drawing is not correct it's very difficult to do it after the fact it's always a lot easier to make sure that that drawing is spot on and all your perspective is where it needs to be prior to putting down your paint it just makes it so much easier it's not to say you can't go in and correct it because with oil paint you can always just scrape it off and go over it again but why do the work twice or three times that doesn't make any sense you want to go in there you have an idea you want to get it the first time and a lot of times your first attempt is always going to be your best effort. so you want to try to get that at the first uh, a chance you get so here you can see I'm putting in those highlights uh, that I was talking about the Sun coming down and hitting that area of the grist mill and this is um, uh, this is something that I wanted to uh, put in there um, it's not in my reference photo. It's what I felt the painting needed to make it um, a more pleasant, uh, more interesting to the viewer. And that's what I did here. So I hope you enjoy this uh, little landscape painting. I enjoy doing it. Um, the reflections. Always when you're doing reflections in the pond or water, you always want to make sure your brush strokes are going uh, in a vertical uh, uh, direction and that's what I do with all my all my lines here and then you can go over very slightly uh, with a couple horizontal brush strokes to kind of make it uh, look like a true reflection so again I hope you enjoyed watching this if you have any questions or comments uh, make sure you leave them in the comment section below make sure you give it a thumbs up and like this video 
and press that notification uh, bell notification and this way you'll always be notified whenever I put up a new video until the next time I'll talk to you later Are you interested in learning how to oil paint and you don't know where to begin or start and need a little help along the way? Well, no matter what level of artistic ability you're at, whether you are capable of painting something along the lines like this or you can't even draw a stick figure, give me a call at area code 607-481-9442. Let me coach you and teach you how to become the best artist that you can be. Let me take your paintings to the next level. Also, make sure you visit my website at www.kennethbrandt.com and make sure you join my email newsletter. Again, that's area code 607-481-9442. And let me help you become the best that you can be. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. I'm hoping it's working. I don't know. I don't know if it's working. I don't know if it's working. So in this time lapse, I have a beautiful landscape that I did of a grist mill, and I'll have the photo in the corner. Uh, 